all how easy it is to make delicious honey butter smashed potatoes. I know, honey butter smashed potatoes, they are so amazing, so easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and if you make them teeny young style, your taste buds will love you for this recipe. Here's all the ingredients you're gonna need. You will need Yukon Gold potatoes. Yukon Gold potatoes is what you're gonna need. You can find smaller ones that are even smaller than this, but this is the kind that I like to use when making this recipe. They're kind of medium size, right? You're gonna need some good honey. And then we have some butter here. Your butter can be salted or unsalted. I got fresh thyme. Fresh thyme really brings this recipe to life. Gonna need a couple of spices so we can make it taste good. We have black pepper, garlic powder, parsley flakes, and salt. I got a little tiny bit of vegetable oil in my pan. Make sure your hands are clean. Let's get started with this fun recipe, Gina Young style. The first thing that we're gonna need to do is boil some water. My water is coming up to a slight boil, and then we're gonna salt the water. I'm gonna salt the water nice and generously, just like so. Any times you're making potatoes, you're making rice or noodles, salt the water so you can give it some flavor. In we go into the pool, everybody in. These beautiful potatoes will cook up, and once they become nice and fork tender, and let's talk about what fork tender is. Fork tender is where you're gonna finally be able to go in with the fork, poke your fork down into the potato, and it slides in with these, and that fork will slide right back out with these. That's what fork tender is. Once that happens, we will drain our potatoes and then I'll show you what you're gonna to need to do next. Now, typically our potatoes could sometimes take between 25 and 35 minutes to get uh, nice and fork tender. But let's talk about something really exciting that's gonna happen. So this Saturday, Jeannie Young is going live. I'm going live at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm gonna be showing you all how easy it is to make delicious homemade shepherd's pie. This shepherd's pie that I'm gonna show you how to make, it's gonna knock you off your socks. So now, what I'll be doing tonight is I'm gonna do a community post. In the community post, I'm gonna state the time, which will be Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then also I'm gonna put all of the ingredients that you're gonna need so you can run out, grab your ingredients, and then on Saturday we can cook live together. It's so much fun. So I can't wait to see you all there. Be there, be square. Saturday is gonna be a lot of fun here at the Young's house. While our potatoes begin to cook, let me just come in real quick just to show you how much oil I have in my pan. It's really not a whole lot of oil. It's just enough really just to coat the bottom of the pan. So I just wanted to show you that. Use whatever type of oil you'd like to use, but I really don't suggest using a olive oil because as we know, olive oil burns at a high temperature and we don't want for our oil to burn. Okay, so just a little tiny bit of oil to coat the bottom of the pan. So now I forgot to tell you all what date Saturday was when I go live. It's gonna be July 15th, okay? So I left that out. Now, our potatoes have cooked until they were nice and fork tender. I stuck my fork in that baby, it went in with these and it slid out with these, okay? So at this point, we're gonna let them cool down just for about five minutes, okay? And you can even let yours cool down a little bit more just to make sure that you do not burn yourself. So be very careful, let them cool down as long as you need so that you don't burn yourself. Okay, so we have potatoes that's been cooked and of course you can tell that we have drained them. I like to set it up this way and then we're gonna give that baby a mash. Now you can use a spatula or this here is my bench scraper. I, I scrape my vegetables up with it after I cut the veggies. So we're just gonna go down. I know, it's really interesting. We're gonna smash it. it. You're gonna feel like you messed it up, but guess what? You didn't mess this up. Look at that, that's what I'm looking for. I want you to do that with each potato, and then after you do that, when I come back, I wanna show you, well, you guys can watch me do several of these, and then I'm gonna show you what we need to do. Don't mash the daylights out of it. You don't want it too, too mashed. That, that's what I'm looking for. Each one will have a rustic look 
neither one will look the same. And that's what I really love about this recipe. Now listen, this is a great recipe to make for the holidays. Absolutely, or if you just wanna make a sexy dish to go with a nice steak or some roast beef, you know, you're making up something special, this right here is a crowd pleaser. It's so interesting. And I, I wanna talk about this really quickly before we mash anymore. So now, there's some people I feel like this, it's gonna be hard for them to wrap their brain around honey buttered smashed potatoes. Gina, why would you put honey onto this gorgeous potato? Well, because it tastes delicious, number one. Okay, number two is I want you to put your mind frame in the thought of a sweet potato. What do we do with sweet potatoes? Well, we sweeten them up. We sweeten them up. We put um, butter and sugar. We put syrup, absolutely we put carol syrup, uh, cinnamon. We make them nice and sweet and candied. And this is somewhat candied. You're gonna taste the savory because we're gonna use that fresh thyme, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. That's the savory part in the butter. But then we're gonna use some honey that's gonna give it just a hint, just a hint of the sweetness. And I'm telling you, you, your family members, everybody in your household that you feed this recipe to, they're gonna beg you to make these again. They are, they're so delicious. Let's continue to break down a few more of these just like so. And like I said, be careful. You don't wanna smash the daylights out of them. Each one will look different and you did not mess any of them up. Okay, so let's continue to do that just like so, and I'll be back. So the first thing that I want you all to do, get your pan nice and hot. Don't yank the heat up on high, okay? We're gonna be cooking this on a medium, medium high. You stay right near it. This is not a recipe you wanna walk away from because I want you to keep in mind that these potatoes, they're fully cooked. And all we're really trying to do is get kind of like a nice, beautiful little char onto them. We want them to be golden brown and crispy. We want crispy edges and then the inside is gonna be nice, beautiful and fluffy and pillowy and just gorgeous. This is one of my favorite potatoes. It's so creamy and dreamy. You'll love it as well. So now I wanna season. I'm gonna put some salt in my hand. I like to put the salt in my hand because I can really distribute it like I want to. So we're gonna season this side just like so. And then we'll do the other side once we flip it over in the pan. So we're going in with sea salt. You can use pink Himalayan salt. And if you cannot use salt, it's okay to just leave it completely out of the recipe. Okay, perfect. Here we go. Don't be afraid to season, y'all. I'm telling you. When you're afraid to season, your food will be flavorless. Okay, I just have to throw that out there. Black pepper, just like so. And we'll put some parsley flakes on. Make it nice and purdy. All right, I love to eat with my eyes, and what I mean when I say that, I like everything that I put in my mouth to look gorgeous, okay? Then add some garlic powder. Garlic powder is gonna really set this recipe off. How about we start off cooking these potatoes on the other side, okay? And then when we flip them over, we can still season that other side. Take them up nice and gently, okay? If they fall apart in the pan, it's possible that they might but don't worry about it. This is meant to be rusty. Okay, take a look. Oh, that sizzle right there. You want that sizzle. You want that sizzle. You want to hear it sizzle, sizzle. <laughs> I'm so excited. My husband is so excited for this recipe. He loves when I make this recipe for the holidays. He always makes sure that he gets two of those, two or three of them on his plate. All right, so we're just, we, we don't want to overcrowd the pan. Really, we don't. And so some of you right now are wondering, Gina, well, you didn't put no butter in. We're not going to put butter in in the beginning. Please keep in mind that butter burns at a high temperature. So when we put our butter and our honey in, it's going to be towards the end of the cooking process. How about we use the oil to get that crispiness and that golden brown color. Once we achieve that on both sides, then we'll go in put our butter in, put our honey in, and let the two combine together, get hot and bubbly, and it really does something special to your potatoes. Okay, look at this. Oh, how exciting. I think I'm gonna just stop right there. I'm not gonna put another one in, because like I said, I don't wanna overwhelm the pan. 
Okay, let's just let it cook up until it gets nice, beautiful, and golden brown. As far as these, I don't mind doing another batch a little later. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put one sprig, or even two sprigs, of the fresh thyme, just nestle it down in that pan. It's gonna bring out a great flavor. Okay, so check me out. We're gonna be very nice and gentle, and we wanna flip these babies. And you should see something that gets you all excited. <laughs> Look at that one. Yes, the golden brown is for me. Look, look, look it, took it, look at it. Yes, I know, I know. It's so interesting, right? And then what we're going to do, if you want to, only if you want to, you're going to season this other side just like so. Okay, I'm going to flip that one over. It's just not ready. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going in with seasoning. Boom, to boom, to boom, just like so once again. All right, season the other side if you want to, okay? It's really up to your discretion. Beautiful, okay? And I'll put some parsley flakes once again. I, that one's just not ready to be turned over, so I'm gonna let it cook up just a little bit longer. Look at this. And in a few minutes, once that other side is nice, beautiful, and golden brown, then we're gonna put, put uh, four tablespoons of your butter in. It can be unsalted or salted. All right, we're gonna put that in and then we're gonna put about four tablespoons, between four and five tablespoons of our butter. The two will combine. They're gonna get hot, bubbly, and gorgeous. And they're gonna create kind of like a candy. Um, like the, it's gonna be like candy. It is so amazing. It is so tasty. And believe it or not, the honey is not real sweet. And the reason why it's not real sweet is because we're not going to overwhelm it with too much honey. Okay, so I'm going to peek in real quick while you guys are still with me and check on the bottom of this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're ready. So I'm going to go ahead and season that baby just like so. Okay, when I come back, butter and honey goes in and then your recipe is just about done. How easy. How exciting is this recipe? I'm telling you, your, your whole family, they're gonna want more. Make sure you get a lot of potatoes. Make a lot of potatoes. Okay, so let's put our butter in. We got some golden brown crispiness. It, my whole house smells good, y'all. The whole house smells good. You, you all know that's familiar with me. You know I'm not a fan of thyme. But when I tell you all that, I don't mind fresh thyme. Fresh thyme is beautiful, but when it's dry thyme, I, and there's something about it I don't, I don't like to smell. The fresh thyme is gorgeous. If you know how much to use. Don't, don't use too much. All right, so four tablespoons is going in. All right, look it, took it, look it, took it. Oh, and then we're going to put four tablespoons of the honey, just like so. And we're going to take a spoon and just baste that honey butter all over these potatoes. Listen here, Top, total knockout. Let me get my honey open. <laughs> I'll be right back. Tablespoons of our honey. The butter's nice and gorgeous. There's one. There's two, three, and four. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> Let's let that cook up. I need to get this honey off of my finger. All right, watch it bubble up. You don't have to mess with this right now. Just let it do what it's gonna do. All right, and once you begin to see it getting nice, hot, and bubbly, then at this point, you be very careful because this stuff is like hot lava. But I am going to want you to eventually turn your pan this way so that you can gather some and you can pour. <laughs> you know what I want you to do. I want you to put it all over the potatoes just like so. How gorgeous is this? You're going to love it. You're gonna love it, a good ribeye steak with this. Maybe a grilled chicken breast or some big fish along with this. Listen here, come in and look at it. Somebody's all excited right now. Let me know if you are the one that's watching this video right now and you are super excited to try this recipe. You should be, because you're gonna love it. Listen here, everybody, my mouth is salivating. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world what Gina Young is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful meal. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins in the name of Jesus. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. Amen. I just want you all to take a good look down in this pan. Before we take these potatoes out, they are extremely gorgeous. When I come back, these will be plated up. Take a look one more time, y'all. Look at this. Look how gorgeous. Make you some Jenny Young style. I know. I'm going to give you some. I'm going to give you some. And I used the uh, thyme just to make it nice and pretty. It's already pretty. I'm going in right here. Oh, I'm going in right here. These are some of the most beautiful potatoes ever. So creamy, so dreamy, crispy on the outside. It's hot. It's hot. So I don't know how big of a bite I can take. I don't want to burn my mouth. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> but it's so good. Mm -mm -mm. You are going to totally love this recipe. It's so interesting. Make you some Jenny Young style. God bless. Good night.